Hey everyone, welcome to another old computer museum video. This video is for a game called Day of the Viper. It's an Amiga 500 game running on a real Amiga machine. Day of the Viper is an accolade game. It was made in 1989. It's available for three different platforms. The Amiga, the Atari ST, and also there is a DOS version for PCs. Day of the Viper is basically a first-person 3D type environment. Uh, what you need to do is actually you are on board a ship that is apparently uh, abandoned and actually there are uh, I believe five ships and in these ships hidden somewhere there are some discs and you need those discs and there's five discs to find so basically you go through these empty ships and of course there's robots of all sorts that are trying to prevent you from actually going uh, which is kind of the internal security of these ships so you start off with your ship boarding these ships and actually you are in a 3D environment that you'll see in a few seconds. So we've got this little intro telling you that, you know, what's happening and how things are going. So normally, uh, following the database, I'll display the damage areas and you should select the replacement module needed for each area. Identify the correct replacement module, please refer to the... Uh, this is, of course, a security feature, so if you have an original, you need a manual that came with it to actually put the right prisms. It's really one of the security features that was very popular back then. You actually had a manual with instructions on how to actually crack that code to prevent copy. It was not one of the best ways to prevent copy as very often people would just make copies and actually go make photocopies of the manual to continue. So it's giving you here a little background on what these ships are, telling you that, well, you know, there was an attack, and I believe uh, that the ships are from a nasty opponent, and which is named, I believe, Gar, and so you need. This is what it's telling now. It's known that the power and station had backup disks of all defense programs. So what you need, you need to find those backup disks in the complex. So you can see there are five different areas in the complex. Each area has one disk. And of course, the areas to be accessed you cannot access any other area as long as you didn't find the disks needed for completion. So, actually go through. So, we'll start the game. Give you an idea of how it looks like and what it works. It's not too complicated to play. Uh, it's pretty easy to actually look at the controls and understand slowly what you need to do. And this is your main control screen. And it's 
So here you can see that you've got the 3D environment on the um, left, not the right screen, sorry. So what you do is you actually use the mouse and go through these areas. You can see if I press forward button, actually. And here's one of the robots. So I'll arm and start shooting at. And there we go. So basically, you gotta shoot your way through. Lots of little robots like these that are basically kind of protectors, so they are trying to prevent you from getting these discs. And once you've secured your area, you just continue. There we go. I'm going forward. Let's see what's right here. It's a little bit like a 3D maze, so uh, you essentially go through a maze like area and you have to find your way through so I believe this is where I was at the beginning so by going into 3D environments and you see that you cannot access every spot right away so there's a level of difficulty here they are shooting at you so keep in mind that you will lose some power if you're not careful at the bottom you can see the red little red line that telling me all the damage that I'm actually assessing from on my ship and of course you need to be careful this is plotter module activated plotter so here as you can see where I am and actually as you go around you will see this little mm, maze uh, map so and here you've got shield activated you got some shields that you can activate so we'll actually follow and you'll see that the, at the, the left side the little blinking area telling me that and it will also prevent you from actually going to the same spaces all the time and as you discover new areas you'll see the map will slowly show the new areas where you're going Here's a little robot again, and there we go. And let's continue here. We'll try to. So you can see here. You can save your game. You can load a save the game. You can of course quit your game, and you can continue your gameplay of course. So at least you don't lose anything if you uh, need to if you need to stop and play because uh, this is a in a game that will take basically hours to play all you need to do is actually save your game and uh, continue and so I give this game a score of 7.5 out of 10 gameplay is sort of interesting you have these robots and you have to fight and it's interesting and actually there's just enough interest that you want to continue and try to find all those discs and see the different levels and what it looks like so um, if you like 3d maze like gaming and of course shoot 'em up it's a mix of shoot 'em up and first person 
first person shooter I would say and um, one of the drawbacks I would have enjoyed that the right screen where you have the 3D environment um, if it would have been bigger I think would have been more interesting but still you're inside some ship so it's like having computer screens in front of you so it might be an interesting game to play if you enjoy uh, first, per first person shoot shoot em up games and it's available on in the internet as a one disc ADF image that you can download and uh, actually transfer to your Amiga if you want on a three and a half inch disc or run through the um, UAE Amiga emulator so this is the Amiga 500 version of a game called Day of the Viper first person shoot em up adventure type game if you enjoyed the look at these old games and consoles and emulation and everything just click the subscribe button at the top of the screen you'll be informed of videos we put online if you have any comments or questions on what you've seen please let us know and we'll uh, gladly answer any questions and uh, it's always fun to have feedback take a look at the other videos we have online many many videos more than uh, 120 now uh, about emulation and on real machines at Atari STs, uh, Amiga 500s, Commodore 64 and much much more so thanks for watching, look at the other videos on the Old Computer Museum channel and hope you enjoy and come back. Thanks for watching, bye bye.